One day on Magnolia tree will be that big. <laughs> One day in 10 years. <laughs> Good morning everybody. I'm at the house and two days without my garden and my house. It's a nightmare. But look how green this corner is. Look at that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, you, you. I want to go down there and have a good look at everything that is going there. And um, I was a little bit naughty <laughs> in Serbia. I had some time and I walked through the little square and there was, of course, it was there was a little uh, there was a little market and of course they had some flowers and of course I couldn't resist buying one climbing rose and i just wanted to have some souvenir from from serbia and there was a huge um market thing with all the roses and bare root rose like that cost two euros can you imagine that two euros i wanted to get all of them but i had only my backpack so <laughs> i had to behave but look at the magnolia tree and look at the flowers, the size of them are amazing. And well, we have some greenery starting there, which is amazing. And oh yeah, yeah. Two days being out of the house. I can't believe how big things grown. Look at my climbing hydrangea. It started to form flowers. I wasn't expecting being that quick it's well i'm speechless it's all happening here then the rose also it's all really dry so the first thing i have to do is to water everything very well and um, yeah the rose is growing my pierre de ronsard rose is has leaves now look at that it's all nice and big and as always, my first thing to do is to get one tiny little kumquat fruit to treat myself. Okay. And the dogwood is starting. Look at that. It's tiny, but it's starting. The magnolia tree is just stunning. Just, just absolutely amazing. Oh. I'm so happy to be back home. Just so, so happy. And so, oh, the camellia started. The camellia has stuff. And something smells so good. What is that? Look at that beauty. Look at that. Oh, oh she's gorgeous. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, I think that is one almost fully open flower. There it is. Oh, so pretty. Just stunning. Oh, here it is. Look at this one. In one of the YouTube videos I, I watched one day, um, one lady, she used strawberries, just regular strawberries like that one, as a ground cover because they, they grow wild and um, they bloom beautifully and uh, they produce fruit, which is amazing. So I'm trying this in my garden and I planted strawberries everywhere around the edges um, to see if they will be forming a nice ground cover why not also i planted strawberries here in between the rocks they must be happy here and the variety i have is um reblooming so we have fruit all year round basically till end of november here is another little strawberry really really happy strawberry 
and oh oh here is starting something i don't remember what was that but this is definitely something i planted here Have you seen this bumblebee? <laughs> Why she is choosing one flowers and then she doesn't like the other ones? <laughs> Those two she did definitely didn't like. <laughs> oh, I'm so much in love with this flower. It's just so beautiful. I think next time at the nursery center I'll take two more i think there was white one and the pink one it's just so gorgeous and things are starting in the garden i'm so happy to see all the little things growing and i planted this one last time and now it's so big and the irises and the tulips and the rose david austin roses are happy and i'm very happy about that also all the tulips here starting look at the size of those oh mm, look at all those tulips unfortunately my snowdrops that my mom brought from her garden they are they're alive uh, and i'm happy about that they won't i don't think they will be blooming this year so i will be expecting them to perform next year and here is our cherry tree looking really happy with all the little buds i can't wait to see her in bloom and what else i think this is the seed hat we can just um i hope they will seed themselves everywhere lovely things and this rose is happy oh just look at that this is our pear tree i don't know if those are flowers i think so actually or leaves or flowers i don't know but it's alive and it is happy that's the most amazing thing and i didn't get any tools with me today um, because I'm late. Oh, I just ordered another camellia starting. Look at this one. Oh, this is very exciting. This one. Oh, wow. This is the first, yeah, first flower on this little bush. Look at that. Ooh. Um, as I'm quite late at the house and also, um, I'm still having kind of vacation mood <laughs> and what I decided to do today is also a job that has to be done and um, yeah so I will be planting potting um, dahlias today and sowing some seeds which is also very very important it's like really important <laughs> and also it's like um, vacation for me so I will be doing that today and my wall in the bedroom looks just lovely i'm so happy coming back to the house and seeing that seeing this project finished this is really amazing oh well done Allah <laughs> I'm really happy with myself um, still it's drying down there but it will be fine and now I will go and check my little garden I can see straight away things are happening there also I can see it is really dry some of the plants looking sad Oh, 
look at the radishes. Oh, they're so funny. Oh, this one is huge. I don't know what happened. Oh, I can see they're starting to turn red at the bottom. Look at that. This one is huge. I don't know why. This one. Look at this one. <laughs> oh. Also, I was really worried about my um, red currants, but now I can see it's not dead. It actually has the first leaves down there. Look at that. Can you see that? This is really good sign. And of course, this beauty. Look at that. Ooh. Um, very unplanned project for today uh, to get the the mouse trap the red trap I'm not sure which one we have but we definitely have something at the attic uh, because in a little uh, in a in the summer kitchen in the little room there um, I kept my um, fertilizer and I was sitting now and having my water and I could hear a mouse just jumping around there, playing and doing things. I opened the door and there was my bag of fertilizer just ripped apart. Um, hundreds and hundreds of uh, mice droppings and a very happy mouse jumping around there. I could hear her. So, um, well, the mouse has to, to leave, it has to leave. Um, so my thing will be to find the trap. Oh, this is quite an expected project for today. And here at the attic, we've got this thing. We haven't tried the new tile yet. I'm waiting for Sergi for that project, but here it is. Let's have a look. I think it works, works with mice and rats, with everything. And I think it doesn't kill it, it just um, catches it. So we can uh, move the, the mouse or the rat somewhere in a neutral land. <laughs> so I will be putting some snacks inside and hopefully we will catch nasty little thing yes i think that would be really funny to place this wonderful portrait of a mouse and the mouse trap in front of it <laughs> oh. okay the mouse project begins i've never caught a mouse in my life that will be the first one and yeah we still have cat sleeping on our beautiful sofa and the lazy thing doesn't even catch the mouse this is not fair i have to understand how that works um so the mouse goes there and uh, uh, well i don't think the mouse is that heavy so it well, we will see. I will put some snacks inside and we will see if that works. If the snacks are gone, then that means the mouse is too small for that one. Ah, let's find some snacks. Oh, I hope, well, I hope because that was a little, oh no. Oh, who did that? Oh, I hope the mouse didn't get inside because the the fridge was a little bit open, but I did close it last time. Maybe that was Sergi who forgot it. Oh no, it's all safe. It's all nice. Oh, thanks God. My goodness, because I keep it really well closed usually. Okay. Okay, I hope the mouse will be enjoying a slice of bread. I hope so. I don't know how that works. Do I have to put my bread 
in the cage but then mouse doesn't know how to get into the cage do i have to put it just at the top of up there it's, i think that makes sense so mouse goes in there to get the bread and it drops inside i don't know well we will try <laughs> we will try that option and the mouse lives there in the little like storage area in here because i keep things there my soil bulbs oh my goodness i have to check my bulbs now oh my god i hope she didn't eat the bulbs oh no that would be so bad oh. here is the bag of fertilizer that mouse almost eaten the whole thing and i can definitely hear her up there just laughing on me Oh yo yo! I placed the cage there, so hopefully she will get in and and she will be caught. And yeah, I'll give her some privacy. I have decided to plant this new uh, rose from Serbia. It's a rambler. It's up to two or three meters height, and. As I don't really know what variety it is, I know just the color and the size of it. Um, I have no idea if it's re-blooming or not. I decided to plant it down here at the bottom of the garden by this little gate, which in future will be a beautiful door. And just, in, I mean, we can cover this part of the fence and create little art here. And I think it will be just lovely. And this is the view from the bottom of our garden. <laughs> it's a lot of work ahead of us removing all those blackberries and things but this part of the garden I won't clean that well the soil I might just kill the blackberries with the thing and not digging out the roots um, just because it's really nice here and it has this woodland deep feel to eat this part of the garden so I hope to save that and to create a woodland garden here maybe we, we will be able to grow mushrooms here with those special mushroom plugs that you can just put in the logs and harvest your own mushrooms that would be just amazing here but for now the rose going there and it is a really nice and healthy plant look at that really lovely here is my working station for today uh, pre-porting -port the dahlias um, there where they can start growing and then when the terrace is ready i can put them in the ground and it's four of each variety which is a lot i have to fill the pots put them in the ground um, and yeah i have to to port at least those three bags I'm in trouble. Um, I have too many bulbs and tubers. Well, not too many. Too many to to pot because all all these they they have to go into the ground into my new garden to my new terrace. And then I I mean I I potted those. I just potted I think I one bag. Oh, I have two bags left. Oh, I have too many pots look everywhere in the garden but that means um, I don't that doesn't mean I have too many plants uh, that means I have very little garden like really little so <laughs> what I have to do because I was struggling a little bit I I mean well anyway all these things they have to go into the soil not into the pots and all these are for them for the lower terrace um, and i think it's much better if i start if i start doing the terrace so if i if i can prepare space for all those plants in the lower terrace that means i can plant all my dahlia tubers into the ground and I won't struggle with potting and space and the soil and it, because it wasn't good what I was doing it was a struggle I mean 
transporting Dahlia tubers. They're huge. Look at the size of this tuber. And I don't have, actually, I don't have really. A... Look at that. It's really nice and big tuber. Um, oh my God, we have old dogs barking now. And uh, it will be so much better if I prepare the, the bed, the Dahlia bed, and I plant them into the ground. Uh, the thing is, I haven't really decided on the design of, of this terrace. This is another struggle. That's why I was postponing this project, but I think it can't wait because, because I have all the bunch of plants waiting to go into the ground. So what about um, starting this project right now? I have a few more hours to work in the garden so I can do. I will be digging, I think I will be digging soil from there, putting it here and faster I do this job, faster I prepare my dahlia bed. I plant them into the ground and they will start to grow, to grow happily here. So I'd better start digging the soil and the weather is just amazing for that. One little project is done. The oleander is on its new place. That's good. Because I think it's enough looking at all those plants in the pots. It's time to plant them into the ground. So the oleander is in. Now I will continue with the terracing this soil. And very soon I hope those trees will be going into the ground as well. And then the dahlia bed as well. So yeah. Here is the root that I have made. It's uh, slightly curved, really nice actually, really like it. And um, now I will be raking this soil to see how it looks like, how the level is. But it's a really good start. Also, I think all the like trees and big shrubs will be going on the lower terrace that will be really lovely to look at the uh, leaves and not at the trunk so they will be a little bit lower beautiful oh look at what, what i've spotted here i know for people in australia it's like nothing but but for us here in italy it's like very impressive size look at this animal look at the size of it oh my god look it's like that big and it goes down there it's, oh my goodness it is really really long it's maybe oh how well how long is it oh here it is so it's like that <laughs> it's huge but um, I will be really honest with you, I don't like them at all, but I'm really happy to see the living creatures in, in our garden, in our soil. This is very good, that means the soil is good and we have all the ecosystem here. But look at that! This is like really disgusting. The only good thing when I'm, why I'm not running out of here is just because it doesn't jump and doesn't fly 
<laughs> I know nothing gonna happen. <laughs> it is really slow. Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's huge. It is huge. It is so beautiful now here in the garden. Look behind me, we have some grass. Now it's green, it's not just dead. I'm really surprised how well it looks like. I mean, it's not dead anymore. We have some green color. Look at that. <sighs> I think it's a really good start. Oh, I'm so happy to see it. not brown, but green. Oh, this is a big success with our Oh, grass seeds and here I I went really mad and I just can't wait and I put a little patch of dahlias here I planted six tubers here in this corner um, really tall ones here and lower ones there so I think it's a good start at least two bags went into the soil that's amazing they can start growing now here and then I think I will be planting um, two I think I'll do two lavenders here and then I will put in the middle a rosemary's. Good, good start. I'm really, really happy. And look, our neighbors have the most amazing camellias there. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm definitely in a working mood now <laughs> and the birds are singing, the weather is amazing. I have planted quite many things. Now we have this corner all filled. We have menta rose uh, there. It's very beautiful pale yellow um, open flower, good for the bees. Next to it lavender, it will be absolutely amazing with the purple. Um, flowers of the lavender then next to it a ground cover thing oh look oh, I just planted it and the 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 the, the, the oh hummember hum, 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 oh I can't pronounce oh look it's here everywhere she's searching for the flowers and she's enjoying them so very much I can't believe she's now there by this purple flower Oh, <laughs> I can't believe it. This is the first hummingbird moth, if I'm not mistaken. So this is it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it, it's breaking my heart now. <laughs> so we have a pale yellow rose, absolutely beautiful, next to purple lavender. The ground covering thing that will be that big here in this corner and as a backdrop for all that will be tall uh, dahlias then lower lower dahlias and then evergreen oleander and obviously it will bloom in summer then we have two more lavenders here as it's kind of sloppy and it will be next i have decided now i won't tell you that will be surprise i have decided um, with the pavement for this terrace it will be a big surprise I think I'll do maybe a reveal so yeah and we have uh, three lavenders here now and also I have so many bulbs the, um, what are these tell me please ah oh, what are they I know I just forgotten the the name gladiola I have two varieties, really pretty ones, and oh, I mean, they've been in a bag for so long, so it's time to go into the ground, and I will be putting them just um, at the, just by this wall, so yeah, I think it's a good idea. Here we go, planting the bulbs.
I'm going home now. Really happy with the job I've done. It's not much, but it's a good start. It's a really good start. I'm hoping this week to finish uh, the terrace, at least the planting thing, and the pavement would be so exciting. Um, yeah, oh well, good. I'm going home now, but I think I have forgotten something in the app. And this is the mulch, the, the wood chip that I got from Charlotte. It smells delicious. If you could only smell, this is the wood chip from the from the laurel bay lo, bay bay leaf tree. Um, they they had moved from the garden, and I got two bags of wood chip. It's nice and fine and beautiful. Look at that. Um, so I'll be putting that in the little garden just temporarily, and then I have to Google what to do with the wood chip because I think it's it has a really beautiful smell. But I think I can't really put it under the plants. I have to do with it something first and then to use it as a mulch. Or maybe I can use it as a mulch. I don't know yet. So I have to Google that and yeah, bring this down in the little garden and then going home. And I see you all tomorrow. And I wish you all a very good day. Bye.